Oh, goodness. The rank smell of rot and mold permeated the humid air. You're humid. Your mother's humid. Every step forward was answered by some nearby slip or slither. You're slither. You tread cautiously into the wetlands. No, I, I don't think so. Oh, okay. Yeah, I get up from the table. Feel free to get up and walk around, stretch your legs and whatnot. I don't see anything in the safe. Are uh, there anything yeah, there's, no. No, there's no more secrets in my room. Nope, this place is completely barren of secrets. Hey, I got the wolf! Oh, that's right. That, okay, you've got that now. You're gonna steal my skull's teeth? Alright, very yep. well. Very well, very well. So, what do you gotta do with that, though? Hmm. Put it right there. Oh. Give me that knife. You finally pried my special dagger from the paws of that squirrel, though you may wish that you hadn't. Uh, why? Oh, you'll see, I suppose. <laughs> Uh, yes, my heirlooms. I hope you enjoy looking at them. I'm touching them. Um, okay, that's fine. I don't mind. I mean, you'll be dead soon anyway, so touch still, everything you like. Still touching. Go, go ahead. Still touching. I'll wash them. I'll use my an antimicrobial spray once you're no, dead. I spit all over it. It's okay. I spit all over the spray, too. Ah, uh, well. <laughs> spit all over the bottle. Then I guess I'll just have to bury you with them. You know, if you play another round, I'll give you ice cream. I'll give you multiple ice cream. Yes? <laughs> How about an ice cream and I don't kill you? Tantalizing offer. Well, can't say I didn't try. <laughs> oh, come on! He's just like... <laughs> <laughs> All right. So, next map. Cards here. Uh, what, what, what? A fish. fish. Useless, or is it? Or... A small sharpshooter, more dangerous than it appears at first glance. You may choose which opposing space card bearing the sigil strikes. That's pretty cool. What is that? Oh. You left clicked instead of right clicked. <sighs> it's okay. You're not the first person to do that. You won't be the last. Uh, that one's the sacrificial altar, right? Yes. And this one is, I forget what that is. Get items if on the, um, you know, add some items to your inventory. Oh, we'll get items. Okay. I might need some more. You do have a knife and some pliers, but now you can add, uh, oh no, no. You, you can't, I don't know how that got in here. You, okay. Yeah, that's just a failure. Nothing will happen. That bottle of goo has no use. Oh, okay. You have taken the useless bottle of goo. Very I well. I have taken the useless bottle of goo. All right. Well, okay. Mm-hmm. I'm serious, you can't use that. There's no possible use for it. I'll place it on the shelf over there for now. What shelf? My advice, avoid it. Okay. Uh, we got a rabbit pelt, redwood ant, and a squirrel. Okay, so we're gonna play rabbit pelt against the skink. Okay, it's the skink. And a squirrel, yes. right here. All right. And what's this do? Special dagger, you will place a weight on the scales. The pain is temporary. Uh, wh what? Yes. You heard me. this is the same... The pliers ripped out one of my teeth, so what the hell does that do? What does it do indeed? I guess there's only one way to find out. I'm never gonna use it. Okay. You say that now, but when you're desperate, we'll have to see. Alright. So now you have two squirrels on the board, and you have the ability to summon either of the creatures in your hand. I sack squirrel, and what does this do? Loose tail. When, it, when this card would be struck, the tail is created in its place, and this card moves to the right. That's, an, that's annoying. And turn. Point of damage, and there is a tail he used to dodge the attack. A lot of snakes coming down the line. That's unfortunate. But because you attacked the skink, and he dashed to the right, it blocked any of the other snakes coming down on the right, you see. It's true. I did that was calculated. I did that on purpose. Stink bug! Boop! Engaging! I mean, cracking! That's what I said. <laughs> so you nullified the snake's attack, and you can kill him this turn. Why are you turn? looking more like a person? You're disgusting. <laughs> And turn. <laughs> kind of cruel to say. Oh, and we have damaged that tail, which means the rattler can come down, kill the bullfrog. So we got the stink bug there, who's probably going to get killed by the snake coming down the line. Mm, no, because the snake's going to come down the line and get zero damage. When oh, zero. that's true. The stink bug is safe. So I, I think, unless it's still, unless zero damage still activates death touch. It doesn't. Okay, so we'll play squirrel. Mm-hmm. I realize I played the squirrel there, but if I play him here, he's just gonna die, and I won't get to sacrifice him. Correct. So, end turn. Do a point of damage with the stink bug. Yep, I'm gonna take two damage. Mm-hmm. And then your squirrel upgrades to Elder Squirrel. Yes, so now, we can draw another card. We have a rabbit pelt, we will place rabbit pelt on Rattler. 
Okay. Just to absorb the damage. Sure. We're gonna end turn. Yeah. So I'm only gonna take one damage, which will still get me pretty close to that side, but better than nothing. Well, you'll do a well, point of damage Yeah, first I'm also gonna do a point of damage. And you'll kill his snake. Boom! One. And then, lost pelt, and take a point of damage. There you go. Okay, lovely. Now, draw another card. I got two-headed viper. Ah, uh, he requires two blood sacrifices. Yeah, I'd have to sacrifice stink bug to play two-headed viper. Or you could save up and get some squirrels on the field. Yeah, we'll try to get another squirrel on the field. Uh, no, I'm gonna die though. No, I'll almost die. I'll be very close to it. You're gonna do two points of damage to him, and then he's gonna do two points of damage to you. Oh, so it'll go right back to where it was. All right, that's fine. So unless he plays a few more cards, you'll be safe for now. Okay, we're back. Draw squirrel. Mm-hmm. Sacrifice squirrel, an elder squirrel. <laughs> To play, uh, no, I don't want to put Two-Headed Viper here because then he'll just die. Right. If I put him here, he'll only attack the Rattler. He Correct. won't attack what's on this side. But he'll but be able to absorb a few attacks from the Skink because it has four health. I should have sacrificed Stinkbug. Crap. I'm going to put him here. That seems like the best idea to me as well. And then in turn. All right, absorb an attack. There you go. Draw a card. I buy. Requires two blood sacrifice. I end turn. Two points of damage. And then, whoop, take a point. Draw a squirrel. All right. And turn. One, two. And then absorb that. Ooh. Viper's got one more point of health, and then it's going to go away. Draw a card. The shoe bill. And then I end turn. Attack for three points of damage, and I believe that is lethal, yes. I swing for lethal. You did, and you didn't have to use very many items at all. Do you mind if I examine those pelts of yours? Yeah, go crazy. Two rabbit pelts? Well, here's what I can offer for those. Oh! <laughs> the custom unique capybara card I made is one of your options. So you have two pelts, you may take any two of these. Take your time to consider their worth. Old goat? Duck? What's duck to? Duck is waterborne? That's 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 the kind of card that goes underground. Turns it goes face underwater down. and it's airborne. Yeah, it goes face down essentially. Dang, that's a pretty good card. What's this one? Uh oh, it doesn't perish when it's sacrificed. Yeah. There's the uh, rhino, the There's cobra. some very good cards here. Yeah, it's hard to pick. I want Capybara, but Capybara doesn't actually do any damage. He just has a lot of health. He does. So he's a good tank, but you've already got well, I mean you're gonna lose two pelts, so you won't have your tanks. Duck would also be good. I'm taking Capybara. Oh, I can get another one! Yeah, because you have two pelts. Oh! So, which Well, other? then I take Capybara and Duck. Okay. Those are the two that I seem to like the most. Sure. <laughs> Just picking creatures, not by how strong they are, but how much you like them. That's... Well, nope. the, the Duck actually seemed like a good one. What is this? So that allows you to delete any one card in your hand. You'll get a bone token as a consequence. Okay. Um, how do I look at my deck? Oh, uh, go back to the map and then scroll up. Can I, oh, and I can't remove anything from my deck. You can't unless you go to that one space we just talked about. If there's any but, car that's kind of a hindrance, you can go to that spot and get rid of it. Hmm. Stinkbug, wolf, two-headed viper, stoat, bullfrog, ant, capybara, elk, duck, shoebill, magpie. Okay. Quite a wide variety of cards you have. And then this upgrades a card, yes. It does, yes. I'm gonna go see that green thing. <laughs> you after all of these years, what do you want? It's very little you have to live for these days. May the dagger find its mark. You must be willing. Are you gonna use that dagger to stab the old man or something like that? <laughs> yep, keep on screaming. <laughs> That quirk is wedged in there. <laughs> Can't wait to take it out. All right, you have fun being there on the shelf doing your weird, gross thing. A small group of survivors. Hello. Faces shrunken from starvation, they huddled around a campfire. They looked upon your group of creatures and beckoned this way. Warm one of your creatures by the fire, one said. Warm it by the fire! That will enhance its power, said another. One of the survivors was wiping drool from their mouth. Which creature would you like to warm them? Mm. I think the capybara. Oh, yes, the capybara can start attacking. It could be a powerful capybara. Capybara will have hands. <laughs> also, they won't eat it because they're not pescatarians. 
Yes. The fire warmed the poor capybara, enhancing its power. One of the survivors reached towards it. Hey, stop that. Ow. Another gnashed their teeth. Without a word, you pulled the capybara away from the fire and left. Don't touch my capybara. The capybara will bite. It's All got right. teeth. Yeah, you got a powerful capybara now. All right, let's do this. All right, he's got anti-flying birds. He'll slap your birds out of the sky. Squirrel. You still got your upgraded squirrels, too. So, he's got... Right. Ooh. Got a kingfisher. A coyote and another kingfisher coming down the line. Yes, his kingfishers block flying. They also go underground and fly themselves. All right, so we play squirrel and end turn. Okay. Oof, four points of damage. Oh, that hurt. That's that's painful, yes. Okay, um... Hmm, things are looking dicey. I don't know if you can salvage this without using an item. Hmm. We'll try. Uh, all right, all right, I have an idea. It's not a great idea, but it's still an idea. Oh, he makes cards turn over. Yes, he could make them come face up. A very useful ability against these particular enemies. Yep. But there's a lot of enemies in the field right now. What I'm thinking is either I place two-headed viper here, and then he'll damage him, swing past him. For a point of damage. Um, yeah, but it's not gonna be enough. Two. Then he'll just kill me next what if, turn. What if you put the viper in front of the coyote? Then he'll do two points of damage and absorb an attack from the coyote. You see what I'm saying? Yeah, we'll do that. It's not an ideal solution, but it will- Well, my other my other option is sacrifice both of them to put Shoebill here and have Shoebill attack. And destroy that? Yeah, but then I'm still taking damage from these two. You will take three damage and it will be the end. If you put the viper up posing the coyote, it can absorb the coyote's attack and do two points of damage. Yep. Which will keep you in the game for a little bit longer. There you go. Salvage that. Ow. Okay. He's looking a little dicey, but we're making it work. I might be screwed. Yes, this might be unwinnable. You may have to consider using your items. You place them on the left side. There you go. Opposing that thing. Yep, opposing that. All right. And turn. So we've got three points of damage. He comes down and does oof, three points of damage and kills your viper. Yes. Things are looking hairy. I don't see any way to get past this without using an item. Yeah, I'm not going to use items. Okay, you're going to have to accept that you're going to lose one of your candles this turn then. I don't see any way past this. One... Destroy you, but then two points of flying and an attack from the otter. Do three. Yeah, that's bullshit. Yeah, he likes to cheat. He likes to just throw monsters at you. The more you play, the better you do. The more of a jerky it comes. When will the worthy challenger appear? He when says. you stop cheating, jackass. Oh, I guess there's never going to be a worthy challenger then. All right, what do we got? Different kind of choice now. You cannot choose a specific beast, but rather decide the cost you wish to pay. A one blood, or two blood, or a bones card. Mm. Bones. The apothecized goat. This one is long due for a sacrifice. Because I don't have enough bone requiring cards. Random card with bone requirements. What were you expecting? I don't know. I guess a goat. All right. So that is a goat you have. A goat card. All right. So this one. More totems. Uh, or items. More items. We want items. Okay, here's one more item for you. A gust from this may lift your creatures into the air, if only for a turn. Uh-huh. As an option. Cut up a card. Or right. cut up one of his cards. Yes. Or be. I'm going to choose cut up one of his cards. Yes, I, I think you'll enjoy oh that. Oh boy, another... Another totem battle. Great. Uh, all right. Well, at least I can cut up one of his cards. He's got birds that shuffle. Oh boy. Random birds. Musical chairs for these birds. So two kingfishers in the oh, same lineup, only in different positions. Yeah, that kind of sucks. All right, squirrel goes right here. Okay. Because at least the coyote doesn't move. Squirrel can absorb one damage. Ooh, how about instead of that, he placed the stoat on top of the squirrel. All right. That way the stoat can absorb the attack of two and kill the coyote next turn. Yes. Good, good idea. All right. And turn. Attack for one, and he comes down and attacks for a two and damages your stoat. Ow! And then flies around. There you go. Okay, so now 
I draw a squirrel. Mm -hmm. So you can sacrifice the squirrel and stoke to get the elk on the field, or you could leave them on the field. Squirrel will upgrade. Stoat will kill the coyote, but then... Then well, die. It won't die, actually, because the opposing card... Oh, yeah, so he'll be good. Okay, so I'm going to end turn for now. I'm not going to play Old Goat because I have nothing... I have nothing... Well... You don't, you don't have the two bones to play him right now. No, I could... Oh, yeah, I don't have the two bones Unless you use the elk to... Unless you summon the elk this turn. Right? No, we'll wait. Okay. We'll wait till next turn. Damage the coyote. You're going to take three points of damage. Hope you survive. That's probably... Ooh, it's cutting it close. Whew. All right. Elder Squirrel on the field. Okay. So... Here's what I'm thinking. Yeah. Draw a card, not a squirrel. Why is that? Because hopefully it'll be something that I can actually get out that will do damage. Draw what? a card, not a squirrel. What would what would something? Kill these two to play elk. Okay. Elk can go I, basically wherever. It doesn't really matter. Okay, you can. And then <laughs> I sacrifice old goat to play the card that I drew. All right. Hopefully you get a good card for this draw then. Okay. Magpie. That is not bad because Magpie is flying, and then also I can use Magpie to get another card that I want. Sounds good. So, yeah. Bye. <laughs> we play Elk. Okay. Sounds good. You can do two play damage. Play Old Goat. Play the Old Goat. Requires two bones, which you have now. And then he is worth three, so you can get the Magpie out. From the right side. And now you get to choose a card from your deck. Hmm. Um, I'm gonna choose... Oh, this is tough now. Do I choose... Well, no, because they fly over it, so it doesn't matter. Capybara can't... Yeah, he can't really tank from flying decks. When he's playing a flying deck, your Capybara is not the best. Either Duck or Shoebill is what I'm thinking. Hmm. Duck can fly over his cards, but Shoebill can dig up his cards and destroy them. I'm gonna do Shoebill. Okay. All right, and now... Ooh, all right. We're going to do three points of damage, then he's going to do three points of damage the way it currently stands. I'm going to cut I'm gonna cut up this card so that the elk can actually apply damage to him. So now elk will apply damage to him. Bird will apply damage to him. Oh, the elk was going to apply damage to him. Yeah, anyway. but it won't It won't be able to attack you on his turn. Yeah, that's, that's good. Attack for three, one, two, three, then heal attacks for a two, one, two. Bump, bump. How am I going to get my shoe bill on the field? I need two blood. You can sacrifice the squirrel and the magpie to get the squirrel on the field. It only does one point of damage, and the shoe bill does do two. Yeah. As an option, and it would be able to uh, pull this one out of the ground and kill it so it stops doing damage to you. Okay. Would, I... would you... Yeah, you'll do two damage here, and then your elk will move in front of the coyote and block its attack, yeah. and he'll do two damage to you. Calculated. Two... The submerged are brought back to the surface. It doesn't say submerged. Uh, That's because mods are not always spell checked. I hey, old man over there, you need to learn how to spell. English not me first language. Leave me alone. One two. All right, still in the game. Boom boom. Yes. And then two river otters. Damage damage. Hey, <laughs> I blocked both of those attacks. Nice. Draw a squirrel. So you can get your bullfrog out, yep. perhaps. Play squirrel, sacrifice squirrel to play bullfrog, and turn. Two points of damage, take up the otter, and the frog does a point of damage as well. Otter does a point of damage to you, but I think you've got this now. You've got a good run going here. Draw a card. <laughs> the stink bug. Play stink bug. No chance now. And turn. Two, one, two, one. Oh, you're that done. was real close. <laughs> yeah, it was. You're, uh, whew. That was that was real close. Edge of my seat here, yeah. Oh man, the final boss is coming up. I wouldn't say final boss, but a boss, yes. All right, more cards. What do we get this time? An Another axolotl. axolotl. A walrus. A very territorial. Goodness. <laughs> All right. When an opposing creature is placed opposite to an empty space, a card bearing this sigil will move to that empty space. I don't understand. So if you have if you have Walrus on the field and mm -hmm. he plays a card, the Walrus will jump in front of that card. Oh, okay. And then he also makes that... Oh, he's stinky. Yeah, just like your stink bug. And skink. Oh, the tenacious skink. You've already seen what they do. They, yep, I have seen what they do. They, um, I'm gonna... I already have some... High blood cost cards. Yeah, I have some high blood cost. I wish I could look at the cards I currently have. I, I think you can. Yep. Oh. 
You've got the viper, the wolf, the duck, the red wood ant, the elk, the magpie, the yeah, shoebill. I have some two cost ones, and I have some pretty. I have wolf, which is already a pretty heavy hitter. I mean, he's got a lot of health, though. He's real tanky. He is. I think I'm gonna take the skink. Okay. Oh, this is the sacrifice. Ah, uh, yes. Now, whose ability do you want to put on somebody else? The skink, the shoe belt. Which card do you think has good abilities, but isn't a very strong card? The redwood ant, yes. The ant's sigil means he has an attack of however many ants are on the field. And uh, on your side of the... On the oh, so that's always going to be one Yes, for me. and unless you get more ants into your deck, he's only going to have an attack of one every time. We're going to sacrifice the ant. <laughs> okay, who want? Who do you want to have the targeted attack? I th I'm thinking wolf right now, or maybe shoebill. Hmm. Whichever card you give this sigil to can attack from behind trees, for example. So anything that has low uh, low health can be better protected. Hmm. So the wolf wouldn't be a bad option. It has a strong attack, but only has two health. Yeah, I'm thinking wolf. Sounds good to me. The soul of the redwood ant now lives inside the wolf. Okay. Oh boy, the fisherman! Yes, you remember the fisherman. I can't remember if we beat him last time, but I, I'm guessing we didn't. A foul smell invaded your nostrils and caused your throat to seize. No, it didn't. A hulking man sat by a brackish pod with his feet submerged in the dark waters. Ew, gross. That's how you get trenched what? He pulled a hook from a pile of rotting fish and rose to his feet. I am the angler. Go fish! You're gross. <laughs> I know. Ooh, you got those upgrading squirrels I see. Pretty cool. Hey, it's me! <laughs> so he's got, ooh, Kingfisher coming down the line. All right, all right. All right, we're gonna play squirrel. Okay. Here. Yes. And we will sacrifice squirrel for stoke. Get stowed on the field, start doing some damage immediately. Keep me alive! No. We'll do our best for now. And he's gonna do a point of damage with the Kingfisher. Which fish hard choose? Maybe I'll hook that one. Why does he hook the fish? He's kind of a dick. Hmm. All right, here's what I'm gonna do. Yeah. Play squirrel. Okay. Sack squirrel and stoat. Play wolf right here. And then wolf can attack wherever. Hmm, that's an option. He will hook one of your cards though. Who's gonna hook the st If I sacrifice the stoat, then he has nothing to hook. I think. No, we'll do wolf, because wolf can attack for more. All right, I th that's what I'm going with. Fresher fish, easy choose. Oh, so he's gonna just switch to whatever. Yes. Well, I guess taking the scroll is better than taking the stoat. Yeah, all right, and turn. Attack for one, then you're gonna attack for two, but... I don't like this mechanic. It's kind of a jerk, yeah. The magpie, another two blood cost. And turn. Attack for one. Oh, now he has Elder Squirrel. No! Mmm, stale fish, hard shoes. I'm gonna try and hook your stoat again, is he? Mm. I guess I draw Squirrel again, but now, uh, oh my god, this is so stupid. So I'm going to play Squirrel to try to sacrifice Squirrel so that I can get Magpie on the board. But then he's just going to... He's just going to take my Magpie. Play Magpie. Sacrifice these two. Oh, come on. All right, there you go. Place Magpie here, I guess. Okay. And now we can take out a card. We do have the option of taking out the Sink Bug, which you could play immediately. It's a real shame so many of your cards have such a high blood cost. The angler, mind his hook, yes. Yeah, I know. <laughs> Play a squirrel or something. You see, the problem is our squirrels upgrade, so he's taking our upgraded squirrels. Makes things a little more difficult, you see, Mr. Stinkbug. And now he's gonna take that, oh my God, this sucks. Do two points of damage. Well, you blocked all of his attacks. Well, see, now, that, now they're just gonna be attacking me. For one point of damage each, yes. So, well, and I can't play a card because he's just gonna steal it next oh, turn. Oh, he's not play. He's not using his hook this turn. This is a good turn to play a card. It's, I know it's a little stressful. He's, he's got that hook. He's wiggling it aggressively. Yes. Why did I put the wolf there? 
That's Why a, did I do that? It's a good spot for him, because he's got very little health. Putting him in front of an enemy is not a good idea. Yeah, that's true. Alright, I guess I end turn. Where do you want to attack? You could attack hmm, the stink bug, and it would probably kill both of those. I'm gonna leave the stink bug there because the stink bug's almost more of a liability for him now. <laughs> yeah, it only does a point of damage, and it blocks the flyer. So I'm just gonna attack him direct. Can I attack that kingfisher? You can attack the elder squirrel, and the uh, damage will go carry over. Well, I no, I'm just gonna damage him directly. That works. I was gonna try and hook your wolf unless you give him a decoy. Ooh. Play squirrel. How about that? When it, yeah, there you go. Have fun attacking that thing. And turn. Where we we're gonna attack Thunder. Empty space. Yep. One, two, three. He's gonna do one, two. See, here's now here's the problem. I'm basically just gonna have to keep playing squirrel every single time. Unless we do lethal here. Boom! Yeah, but now it's just gonna. Well, we gotta see what he's gonna do this time. He probably is gonna turn them into fucking fish or something. Go fish! Hmm. So we have a bait bucket in front of all of these cards. We don't know what the bait bucket does. Right, I'm drawing a card. Bullfrog. Hmm. I feel like I don't want to attack these bait buckets. Hmm. Well, right now your wolf can attack any space, but your squirrel will attack a bait bucket unless you stop it. I'm gonna sacrifice the squirrel to place the bullfrog right here. Okay. Bullfrog is flying. And then bullfrog I bullfrog is anti-flying. And turn and attack right here. One, two, three, and then one from the frog. Okay. You uh seem to be doing okay. Alright, draw a card, old goat. I He's worth three blood, only requires two bones. I have a vague memory of if you attack the bait bucket, it spawns like a freaking great white. Yeah, you remember, yes. It does so, do that, yes. we probably don't want to do that. I'm not actually going to play anything else right now. I'm just going to end turn and have the wolf also attack this spot One, to kill him. Two, three, four. You beat the second boss. Yeah, you overcame that challenge. See, sometimes I'm kind of smart. Let me relight your candle. Well done. Well done. All right, you get another rare card. Yay, another rare card. Hope you get something you like. Two-headed viper? Another two-headed viper. Why is there a mushroom down there? Because eh, it just signifies you've got more than one of them in your deck. Ah. A skull crab. Strange crab-like insect. Hit itself inside a human skull and will ambush unsuspecting prey. Okay. And the pack rat. Never doubt the utility of a well-stocked pack. Uh, what does that do again? Uh... Well, okay, that, that's not right. It, uh, when you play that card, you get a random item. Oh. I'm gonna take a pack rat. Okay. I have an idea. All right. But first I have to go use the bathroom. Okay. <laughs>